everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and every week I give this evolutionary astrology message. This one is for the week between the 18th and the 25th of May 2019. Here I talk about celestial transits that affect us all, all zodiac signs. So what is the sky preparing for us this time? Well, we're heading into a full moon that is a very productive full moon, considered to be a very productive and transformative full moon. It's going to be a full moon in the 27th degree of Scorpio. And its strength and its danger is in its power to transform. It is a full moon that calls us to dig deep in everything in our life ourselves, what we do, our relationships, our family, and digging in can cause the silt and the dirt to rise up to the surface so we can cleanse it out. That's where danger comes in. If we let drama flare up too strongly in our life, we'll be missing the point. Nevertheless, if we would be scratching the surface, not letting all that smudge in the inside vent itself out, we could have a problem. So, the transformative strength is in allowing ourselves to see our darkness, to see the weakness in what we still do and what we're still involved in and who we are, and to be able to address it, address it and slowly transform it, not dramatically, but over time bring it up to the conscious mind so we can actually start changing those protocols within our lives. Saturday the 18th is also the day we have the exact conjunction between Venus, the planet of value and satisfaction in our lives, and Uranus, the upgrader, innovator, and rebeller of the zodiac. And when these two come together on the positive side, we can get a new job, we can find new ways to bring in income, we can meet new people or new groups of people. On the less positive side, we can become intolerant towards people or projects that are already in our lives, that we are already involved in. And that intolerance can cause disruptions. We could be throwing away babies with bathwaters if we're not careful. So, allow yourself to be flexible, allow yourself to innovate and upgrade. Don't look for flexibility at these times. Look for an upgrade with your money intake, with your job, with your relationships, with your satisfaction and value you have in your life, both from yourself and others. But don't be intolerant towards the things you have in your life already and the people you have in your life already. Um, Let's see what else. On Monday, the 20th, we have the Moon conjunct uh, Jupiter. This is a good time to go into a spiritual state, to concentrate on spiritual matters or philosophic matters, or just be within a natural environment and connect. This is also a great time to be with your family and persons you feel intimately connected with and enjoy and give thanks for that sense of belonging. On Tuesday the 21st, a bit of a sensitive day because the moon squares Chiron at that day, so we are a little more sensitive, but there's a couple in the sky, the Sun and Mercury, that join together to a state of Kazemi, a superior conjunction that is said to be able to assist us on planning out and structuring things that are not of the mundane, but are of a more strategic, larger, philosophic mind frame, how we see our life, how we see this world. And of course, that that mind frame affects our azimut, our directions, our pace forward. This is a good day to have a visualization of how you would like your next three months to look. And as these two join together, they move an ingress into the sign of Gemini. So happy birthday, all you Geminis out there. And that would bring a generally faster pace to all our cognitive mind frame. We could think faster, move faster, be more alert, but be more curious as well. Um, it is, it could be a little aggressive 
as the afternoon and evening draws in, as there is an opposition from the moon to Mars. So just watch your aggressiveness, and if you're faced with something aggressive from life, just quench it with some water, don't react to it. Wednesday, the 22nd, has a lot of energy in it. We have to be careful not to be too impulsive. Um, but it is a day that we can move mountains forward, that we can break through barriers, as there is a sextile between Mars, excuse me, and Uranus. Thursday, the 23rd, is a bit heavy, a bit on the heavy side, as the Moon joins Saturn and Pluto. We have to be careful not to be uh, acting out of um, a damp spirit and a judgmental mind frame on that day. And don't let the drama flare up. Don't make mountains out of mole hills. And the 24th, nice day, positive day, good day for communication. Just be careful not to overindulge or ask to be overindulged by our friends and family. And Saturday is a great day to be outside in nature, weather permitting, or again involved in any philosophical or um, spiritual matters. It's a good day for a hike. It's a good day for a walk in nature. It's a good day for a stroll. It has a feeling of a vacation. So enjoy that and do allow yourselves to be flexible and do new things on Saturday the 25th. I want to announce that we're opening up we're opening up a new beginners group and a new advanced group. It's over the net, so you can study with me from wherever you are around the world. If you want to, just contact me. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching and sharing this. May you all live long and prosper.